Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk to you about a free browser-based VPN, uh, and that's the Opera browser. So let's get right to it. Uh, you can download it from www.opera.com, or if you go to Google, just type in uh, Opera browser, and it should be the first link yep, at www.opera.com. So click download now, and then you can see here that couple of uh, links at the top of the page to download Opera. So go ahead and click it and uh, a short while your uh, download uh, pop-up will appear asking you to download the setup file. So Opera setup, you can save that and then run the file to install and uh, yeah, you're done. So once you're done installing, you should come to a page uh, something like this. This is the speed dial by default, the VPN is only enabled in uh, private browsing. And to open up a private window, you could either right-click on the Opera icon in your taskbar, right-click, and then uh, New Private Window. Or my favorite, uh, my preferred method rather, is Control Shift N, and then yeah, you have private browsing. So to turn on the VPN, go to your search bar at the top and then on the left you'll see this VPN icon. Uh, click on it. Uh, it will say that you're unprotected. By default, uh, location is set to the optimal location, which I found not to be uh, the optimal location actually. It's better to set your server to the continent that you're in. So I'm out based out of Asia. So I'll select Asia, and uh, once you're done, just select, uh, just click on the unprotected, the power button here, and it'll turn blue. So if everything's okay, the VPN icon here will turn blue. If there's an issue, it will be yellow in color. Uh, another way you can check is to go to whatismyisp.com. And you will see here that my ISP has changed to Hern Labs, also known as Opera Software. Okay, so it seems to be based out of Singapore. And But the actual servers could be somewhere else. But at least the company is based out of Singapore. Okay, so the other thing that people are concerned when it comes to VPN other than, you know, the ISP changing is the, other than the security and the ISP changing is speed. Does it slow down your connection by a lot? So let's test out. Uh, my preferred speed test is fast.com. And let's see what speeds we get. So we're getting around 10 megabits, 13, 14, 15, not too bad. 16 okay 16 megabits per second let's do a average and run it again and um, this time it's a bit slower 10 so between 10 and 16 megabits per second now like i mentioned this uh is a browser-based vpn so only the traffic that's going through the uh, private window is is encrypted and protected by VPN. So, you know, your other applications, whether it's messaging applications or video games, those, those are not uh, protected by VPN. So they go through uh, unencrypted, through the your unencrypted network. And so let's just open, uh, let me just open Chrome here and uh, do a speed test. So I got 32 Mbps earlier. And let's run it again. So I'm getting around 34, 35 megabits on an unencrypted network. So it's not. Let's do another one again. Uh, okay, seems to be some. Okay, so now we're getting around. Yeah, even on the un unencrypted network, we're getting around 14, 15 now. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, usually I get yeah around 30. So 30 is a more consistent speed. And on the 
on the Opera VPN, I get around 10 to 15 on average. So, so there definitely is a uh, performance uh, improvement, uh, decrease in the performance. But you know, 10 to 15 megabits per second is, you know, it's still pretty decent. You can do your surfing, you can watch your videos, uh, and yeah, it's not too bad. Where where it might be an issue is if you're doing like some you need high performance like in a video game for example then this VPN may not be suitable so if you just want to avoid surveillance from your ISP or government if you want to get around your ISP blocking certain sites or tracking your your traffic or you know just to simply secure your network when you're using public Wi-Fi at the airport at a cafe I think the Opera browser VPN is a good starting point given that it's free, it's super easy to download, install and set up and you know the performance is it's not too bad. You, you get a pretty decent uh, speed for a free VPN. So hope you guys found this video useful. Uh, if you've but any comments, uh, suggestions, please do leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. My next video, I want to cover a free VPN that will cover your entire device and not just the browser traffic. So yeah, see you in the next video. Thanks guys.